the big story that I think of when I think of analytics is, of course, the one that broke on, on New York Times around Target. Mm -hmm. um, and the ability that Target has as a retailer to, to really, <laughs> with, with fine granularity, in fact, the full story there is even more interesting than the one that broke in the New York Times because if you dig into it, Target actually had to scale back the analytics that they were using because they were so accurate that they could push coupons to a consumer at the checkout. And it reaches a point where, and that's what they found, is that it reaches a point where it's like a little scary. Mm -hmm. Okay? And there's a human component to that that says, you know, whoa, <laughs> I, I'm not ready, I'm not ready for this. So that was the story in the sense of predictive analytics, and that's highlighted by Gartner. Gartner has a hype cycle, and there's five pieces um, on the hype cycle. There's the trigger, which is the technology trigger typically. And then you get all the way up very quickly to what's called the peak of inflated expectation. And then you go straight down to the trough of disillusionment. And then you get to this slope of enlightenment. And then you ultimately get to what they lovingly call the plateau of productivity. <laughs> Predictive analytics today on the Gartner hype cycle mm -hmm. is at that plateau of productivity. We're really, really, really good at it. Prescriptive analytics which is what you're referencing, I think, is what's uh, still on that first, between trigger and between the peak of inflated expectations. So we're not quite there yet with prescriptive analytics. There's a third one that I'm keenly interested in that we haven't touched on that hasn't reached a trigger point yet, which is persuasive analytics. That's where you get to the kind of insight that we need to change behavior. And that's where we haven't seen that yet. We're good at predictive, and we're, we're getting better at prescriptive, but it's still got a long way to go. And the one behind it that I'm excited by is the idea and the notion of persuasive analytics to help us change this deluge of data from uh, just information to actionable insight. So I've been really